Y'all cannot hear this, but there are definitely um, people outside <laughs> right now. What is happening? There's so much noise happening outside. My neighbors are having like a party or something. What is happening? Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Saving Evergreen Harbor. Um, last uh, episode, we had a bit of a disastrous spooky fest. I kind of had hoped it would go a little bit better than it actually went, but that's okay. Libby had had to go to physically go to work that day. Um, Cecilia was trying to manage the brand new toddler. It was kind of a mess. It's totally fine. We had a spooky day. It's totally okay. Um, but today we are back and we're going to be spending more time with the Blue family. Um, cause now we're spending more time with the whole family instead of just like one or two Sims. We have Libby over here, um, who is still working through all her stuff. And then we have little baby Aster, uh, wearing her cute little chick, uh, chick pajamas. Actually, uh, so my roommate, Kaylin helps me edit my videos and she mentioned something really cute, which is that, um, uh, she's wearing chick, like chicken pajamas and her mama Cecilia has a whole bunch of chickens and that's actually just really, really cute. So I just, I think that's adorable. So, um, um, but we are back today and we are going to be doing a couple of things today. Um, so I mentioned a little bit at the end of last week's episode how uh, Libby sort of desperately, uh, I need to spend more time with Libby. I've been spending too much time, I feel like, with um, Cecilia and not enough time with Libby. Oh yes, the Reaper's Rewards thing is happening right now. Don't worry about it. Yeah, thank you. Um, we're going to bring um, Aster down here and we're going to put her in and we're going to get her some food. Um, can you do that? Can you pick up the toddler? Okay, we're good. Anyway, um, so I, I mentioned uh, at the end of last episode that I felt like I had spent a little bit too much time um, playing with Cecilia and not enough time playing with uh, Libby. Um, so today we are going to be spending a bit more time working with Libby. I actually am going to give Libby a another aspiration because I feel like the the aspiration related to the eco like the eco lifestyle pack is too easy or simple, I guess. Um, and so we're going to work on giving Libby actually the botanist uh, freelance botanist aspiration. Um, so here, let's give food to Aster. What do we want to give her? Let's give her some animal crackers. I think that's really cute. What kind of food do we have in the fridge right now? Not much. So I think I'm going to have Libby uh, do a little bit of cooking this morning. What are you doing? Why do we have the child? Okay. No, no, no. We're going to g um, give food to Aster. Oh my God. Dealing with toddlers and can be a mess sometimes. Okay, now they're putting her down. Good, good, good. I just want to make sure that my Sims aren't, uh, you know, dying of starvation or anything. Now we'll have Libby cook. Y'all cannot hear this, but there are definitely um, people outside <laughs> right now. I don't know why there are people outside talking and that's outside my apartment. That's just super weird. Okay, we're going to make some classical grilled cheese. We're going to make the party size of stuff from now on because I feel like that's going to do a better job of meeting all of our Sims needs now that we have three Sims instead of four. We're also going to go ahead and wake. Um, oh, God, so we need to wake Cecilia up. What is happening? There's so much noise happening outside. My neighbors are having like a party or something. What is happening? Anyway, and we need to wake Cecilia up. She was asleep because she was exhausted from our very, very long night last night um, with Spooky Day and them struggling and everything. You didn't go to the bathroom. Fine, whatever. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to spend more time playing with Libby. Um, Libby is, uh, I'm giving her the freelance botanist aspiration, which should be super fun. Um, it should give her more stuff to do because um, when we went out and researched plants, we actually got the fabricator recipe for this really cool um, like aquaponics planter, hydroponic planter. And so I think that's super nifty and I want to make more of stuff like that. So I'm hoping that through doing some of the freelance botanist stuff, I uh, We'll actually have some really cool stuff to do. Um, something else we also have to make sure we're doing. So it's a Saturday today. And I actually want, we've got to make sure, right? It's a Saturday? Yeah, it's a Saturday. I have to make sure we go do our neighborhood action plans. We have to go vote for our neighborhood action plans. That's gonna be super important. We have like four rabbits in the yard. <laughs> Cecilia, come get your rabbits. And a half finished fabricator job, apparently, since the fabricator is full. That's fun. We love that. Okay. Um, looks like Cecilia is coming down to watch her baby, but I think actually she should come down and get some. You know what? Cecilia's not super hungry. Let's um actually have her get like a a quick meal because I feel like, you know, might as well. Ham and cheese sandwich. 
that should be fine. All right, we'll get Libby to let Aster out <laughs> of uh, her toddler prison. Um, and just another thing I'd like to do today as well, I wanna spend more time on Aster um, as a toddler and work on her traits and stuff and her skills. I think that'll be super cool. I want uh, 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 Aster to have like, the well-adjusted toddler stuff and like get like the the it's not well just an infant i forget what the trait is that you get if you have a good toddler but um i'd like her to have that i think that'd be fun uh, actually while cecilia's eating i think maybe i'm gonna have libby give aster a bath because she's stinky i have to watch my sims to make sure that they're actually doing the things that i asked them to do yeah i think she's stinky so we're gonna have her go do that um and then we'll have um cecilia come out and feed the chickens and do some of the like farm work and stuff uh, and then we'll get started in Libby stuff. Can we please give the toddler a bath? Maybe the toddler said no the last time. That might have been what happened. Okay, and we're gonna have um, Cecilia take care of the chickens real quick. So we'll have her clean the coop, collect the eggs, um, scatter some feed. We should be pretty good on that. We also should, oh no. Did one of our beetles get struck by lightning? Rest in peace, beetles. I'm so sorry. Um, what does clean out mean? Uh, health fine, hunger fed. Yeah, I guess we'll replace this and get some more. Oh, uh, should we farm crickets instead? I feel like that would be interesting. Mm. Oh, we also need uh, her to spray for bugs and weed and stuff um, on her uh, a pumpkin, her, her giant pumpkin that she's growing. There we go. We gave Aster a bath successfully. We do need to mop though, because, you know, it's fine. Um, So Aster, let's get her working on some of her skills. She's on, she's almost level three imagination. So we're going to have her go play uh, some and and spend some time with her, her dolls and things like that. Um, we should need to work on her communication skills later, but I think I might have Cecilia help her with that actually um whereas libby uh she's it's um uh it's a it's a weekend so libby doesn't really have to do anything in particular you're a bit of a handy sim it says hey there neighbor do i hear the sizzle something broken in there oh dear would you like help with that i'm a bit of a handy sim um i mean is anything broken is there something broken in the house oh maybe it's our our water collector machine um I guess you will, I'll, you can come in. That's fine. That's the Tinkers, right? One of the Tinkers? Yeah, Tina Tinker. Yeah, Tina Tinker can come in. If she came and fixed our stuff for us, that would be awfully nice of her. Okay, Astro's Imagination level three. So I think um, while we're gonna do some stuff with Libby, I'm actually gonna have Aster play on the Wabbit tablet some more and do some more Sim Shape because uh, thinking is one of like the harder skills to do. What is it? Yeah, the thinking skill. That's one of the harder skills to do. Uh, so we're gonna have her play with that a little bit and, and see how that goes. Um, Libby is doing some washing up. We actually need to take Libby. Yeah, you can hang out, Tana. That's fine. Tana's asking if she can hang out now that she's fixed. I guess our water thing was uh, not working and I just didn't know about it. So that's fine. Um, but while all this is going on, um, I'm actually going to um, take Libby out to the community center, to the community garden, because we need to do some voting on some neighborhood action plans because we have not done that yet. And I think it is important that we do so. Also, I remember in a past episode, we were really struggling with having Libby interview people about their utilities and stuff. I think from the context that I've received online, I think that the issue was that um we need to be friends with the person like like decent friends with the person before we ask them about that stuff but i guess maybe they're trying to imply that that's a bit of a private question to ask people so you know you know um okay let's see what do we want power conservation green gardening um Let's see, what's the other ones that we have? So promote creative arts, free love, eco-friendly appliances, self-sufficiency, um, fishing, gardening, and handiness. Let me see, modern development, we don't want that kind of stuff. Um, foodies unite, that's kind of fun. I guess let's maybe do, um, I mean, honestly, we seem to care a lot about gardening. This whole episode is about having Libby be um, more garden, doing more gardening stuff. So let's just pour our, our influence points into gardening. I think that'll be fine. We have like three now left, but we had like 50, I think. Um, so now we have green gardening. We have seven votes in for green gardening. So it will probably, frankly, get done. So, and then while we're here, let's just, um, let's take a look. Is there anything that needs to be watered or, or cared for in any way? Some of these are out of season for sure. I guess maybe while we're here, let's post to Simstagram real fast. Let people know that we just voted on our neighborhood action plan and that we need to, um, oh, we're, we're planting something. That's very nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll post to Instagram and be like, hey, look, we just planted something. And then we'll maybe give it a little bit of a, oh, we can't water it right now, I think. 
Yeah, we can't water it, but that's fine. We planted something. You know what? Perfect. Everyone go. We'll do another one, I think. What are we? Where are we going? Oh, we're getting water. Oh, do we have a little like water station? Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice this. That's really cute. That's an adorable sink. I didn't even know that was there. Hashtag got water at the gardening center. <laughs> Okay, now we can go home. So we did that. We voted on our action plans. That's that's what matters um, to make our community a greener place. And now we're going to go home. So let's see what time is. It's 2 p.m. God, these days go by. Oh, is this really going to stay up like that the whole time? That's actually super frustrating. Um, that the Reaper Rewards thing is going to keep intruding every time we load into a lot. Um, I think one of the things I actually want Libby to do that I feel like she hasn't gone and done enough of is exercise. I'm actually going to send Libby to go do a little bit of jogging really quickly. Um, and we're going to hang out with um, Cecilia and uh, Aster. I specifically want Cecilia to come upstairs. Oh, Aster's just tootling around by herself. Where is she going, actually? She's just wandering. You know what? That's cute. I'm actually going to have Cecilia come up here and I'm going to have Aster. I want to have Aster go over there and I'll have Cecilia come over here. And I'm going to have them work on um, flashcards together because I know that's going to help Aster's like communication skills and like learning and stuff like that. I think that would be very cute for them to do together. Um, here, teach to talk. That's cute. Do we have a, how's her? I know you guys can't see her stuff behind, behind my, uh, my thing. Oh, they're really cute. So she's all, Aster's only communication level one. So teaching her to talk a little bit, I think would actually be like a good thing to do. Oh, and pet, a Cecilia reach parenting level three. That's cute. And Libby's upping her fitness level, which is good. I just want her to like do a little bit more fitness. I feel like we haven't like done any of that. And The Sims does kind of make you just because of their weird like weight mechanics. So look at Aster's little boots. I think they have little rainbows on them. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, where is Libby? I think she's like way off in the distance. Yeah, she's still taking a jogger on the block. Look at her go. Look at her go. That's cute. I actually really like the outfit that I put her in. It's a bit interesting. So when they age up, I'm definitely going to get them new outfits. That's kind of my thing. When Sims go through any sort of age up, I like to have them. Yeah, and she just finished her run. That's good. She's feeling healthy. Listen, she voted on a neighborhood action plan. She's feeling healthy. We're, we're doing good. Um, okay, so we need Libby to weed or water plants 10 times. So I'm going to come over. Um, actually, we should do a harvest real quick of all the plants that we have. I don't think our plants need to be watered today, um, so that's fine. We also need to plant something three times. We have another planter box over here. We've never used any of it. So what is uh, Libby's gardening skill at? Her gardening skill is at level three. So I'm wondering, my, one of my biggest issues is that I've only been able to get like starter seeds and stuff so far. So I'm wondering if maybe at some point I could get like better than starter seeds, if that makes sense. Like more interesting plants and stuff. You know what, while we're here, actually, I've been needing to do some management of my Sims inventories um, and just the house in general, actually, frankly, because there's been a lot going on. We have a bunch of like random crap in Libby's uh, like pockets, which is crazy. Let's I'm going to do a little bit of selling of some of the stuff that that we need to, to get rid of and we don't need a ton more of. We actually have some like food scraps that I have an option to compost in an insect in the insect farm. So that's kind of wild. <laughs> also, looks like we've got some super fertilizer. We we have this space rock. I guess we can stick this somewhere in the house if we want to. It's very large. We got this from um, slaughtering the gnomes. Oh, the shinolite. Oh, is this the thing that ended up like on the uh, like on the ground because of stuff? I'm trying to remember. And the lightning. There was a lightning strike that ended up um, causing us issues at one point. I can't seem to take these out of her inventory super easily. So we're just going to keep her talking and keep Libby doing what she's doing. And then we're going to go from there. Okay, now that Libby is done with all of that, I'm going to... Oh, there's just a whole bunch of these food scraps. So I have to do this like six times. Oh, it looks like some of this compost I'm able to like turn into bits and parts and stuff. That kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense. Um, well, it's getting kind of late. Let me see about um, what we're going to do for... Uh, what we're going to do for dinner. It looks like Libby needs to go to the bathroom. So we'll send her up to go to the bathroom. And then it looks like Cecilia is still talking with um, Aster. Is Aster's 
stuff okay? Oh, so Aster does need to, this is another thing that I needed to do. Um, we actually need to give Aster a toddler potty because I kind of low key forgot. This is slightly cursed, but I think we're actually gonna have to stick it in her bedroom um, just because I don't have room in the bathroom. Okay, so I'm having to turn move objects on, but we're gonna stick this little toddler potty in the corner of her room so that she can utilize it. And I think we're actually gonna have Cecilia um, teach Aster to use the potty because we haven't taught her, uh, we haven't potty trained her yet. I don't know why Libby has such low hygiene. I guess maybe it's just because of um, uh, the fact that she went jogging. <laughs> maybe that's the issue. So for the botanist, we need to plant uh, something three times and weed or water plants three times. I think we're gonna try to order more seeds um, off the internet. <laughs> yeah, we have starter vegetables, herbs, fruits, flowers, and magical plants. I guess maybe we'll order a packet of magical plants because I've, I've never gotten those before. Um, they do need to eat dinner, but I'm just kind of trying to get through this bit first. Let's open the seed packet and see what's in there. We've got uh, a mandrake and a valerian root. Interesting that they're calling valerian root magical, um, considering that is a very real, a very real plant that does like actually exist. Where did the valerian root go? It's on her desk. How did it get in there? The Sims is weird sometimes. I want you to go in this planter, okay? Maybe not. Why is it? The valerian root does not want to be planted in these little planters. Not entirely sure why, but that's fine. We're planting that, I guess. Oh God, it is getting quite late. I guess let's run back to the, um, run back to the, the community garden. And I want to see about, there's usually stuff to plant out there. So we'll just go ahead out there and see if there's anything that people want to plant or maybe that the valerian root might plant better out there. Okay, let's see. I don't think any of this needs watering. Yeah, I don't think the valerian root likes the vertical planters too much, which I think is part of the issue. Um. I don't think I can plant it in here with the tree, but I guess we can try. Yeah, we unfortunately can't plant it with the tree. That's fine. No, I guess we'll go home. It looks like Libby's getting tired, so we'll help, we'll get everybody into bed and we'll get them some dinner and stuff. It'll be fine. Okay, um, I think, what food do we have in the fridge? Yeah, we'll have um, everyone grab some eggplant parmesan. And then where's the child? The child is playing in the toilet. Hey, Cecilia? No, you shouldn't let your kid play in the toilet. Oh my God. Um, well, while the parents are, stop that. While the parents are busy, um, we're gonna have her maybe do some more um, sim shape, I guess. We'll have her play on the tablet. She needs to eat, but I'm going to um, uh, have the adults give her food at some point. Oh, looks like they had a contest for the fridge. Um, I'm gonna have the adults give her some food and put her in the high chair and stuff in a minute, but I have to wait for uh, them to eat first. Oh, it looks like the inside of the house is cold. I didn't realize that. Once Libby's done eating, I'm gonna come in and set the thermostat. I was wondering why Cecilia was weird for a second, and it's because uh, it's because uh, she was she was chilly. Looks like the mail got delivered. I'm worried about potentially uh, bills. I didn't see a bills notification, so I think we're probably fine. Yeah, come set the thermostat. And then once you do that, we're gonna grab the child. Give food to Aster. We want to give her some peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I think that's cute. Fun fact, I am intolerant to peanut butter, but there was a time in which uh, I could have it and I do kind of miss it sometimes. There we go. Now the stuff is clipping properly. I don't know why uh, it was having an issue earlier. I did have to put move objects on, so maybe that's the issue. I think we're gonna put this moon rock in here to um, signify Cecilia's conquering of, uh, of the gnomes. That was a horrible experience, frankly. Here, we're gonna make that fit a little better. There we go, so it's not just like crowding up on the, on the desk. That's good, okay. All right, so um, Libby is feeding the child. Cecilia is just standing here. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, I kind of want them to... Here, we'll let Cecilia cross-stitch a little bit more while uh, Aster's eating. I think that would be cute. I think they're going to put the baby to bed, maybe then spend a little bit of time together because they like never get to. So I think that would be cute. I'm going to have Libby come out here and water this. I'm kind of stunned by the fact that it didn't seem to count planting the magical plants. Oh, plant a flower, fruit, or vegetable in the world. Click on it and 
and select plant. Oh, that's annoying that the magical plant didn't count towards the, the I get it, because that's a base game aspiration or whatever, but um, all right, we're gonna have Cec Cecilia stop this and we're gonna have her go put her to bed. Libby's tired, but I want them to spend a little time together before they go to sleep. There we go, okay. Um, I'm gonna wake Libby up for just a second because um, I want Aster to come in here and they're gonna like hang out a little bit, I think. Kiss cheek. Here, we'll have Cecilia kiss her cheek. They'll spend a little time together, I think. Express fondness, embrace, profess undying love. Oh, that's cute. And then we'll have them probably do a cheeky little woohoo just because, you know, might as well. They deserve some time together. You know, they've been through a lot lately. Oh, I think it's snowing. Or I think the weather's gonna be snow anyway. Oh, it's their first day of winter. And Evergreen Harbor, that's actually kind of amazing. Oh, is there like a little firefly out here? Oh, there is a little firefly out here. I love that. Yeah, PSA, I guess, is that the fireflies, if you haven't seen them in a while, it's because they're disappearing. And that's because we use too many um, pesticides and stuff in our lawns and things. And so it's a good idea to not use as many pesticides if you can help it, or alternatively, uh, leave a little stretch of like long grass at your house in your yard if you can, so that the fireflies have somewhere to live and stuff. I might need to get them a better bed. I feel like they're taking a little bit too long to um, recover their energy. Well, we are using the eco lifestyle bed. It just doesn't seem to be like that great of a bed, which is slightly unfortunate, but that's okay. Okay, we're having Cecilia get breakfast because she was the first one to recover, basically. So she's the first one up. How's Libby doing? A little stinky. Okay, her energy's finally up too. So we will get her up and do her thing. I think, um, I think uh, Aster's still kind of tired. Yeah, so we'll leave her in there for a little, leave her asleep for a little bit longer. So it seems like we need to be able to um, plant just a flower, a vegetable, or a fruit um, to be able to count for Libby's new aspiration. Um, so we're gonna go do that in just a second. I know that it is winter, so some of this stuff is a bit out of season, um, but we're gonna go take care of that in just a second. We'll have um, Cecilia come out here and feed the chickens again and clean up the coop and collect the eggs and do, you know, everything that we're used to doing. We'll have her nurture our new crickets as well. Um, so that'll be chill. And I think Aster's probably awake enough. I think we're gonna go, or she's recovered enough. Yeah, she is. We're gonna go ahead and get her up. And I think we're gonna have her spend a little bit of time on uh, Sim Shape again, because she really needs to start working on some of her skills. Um, so we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna order one of each of the fruits and the veggies and the flowers, um, the seed packs, just so that I can um, get a hold of all of them, open them up. Uh, so we actually have three exact slots um, available uh, in our uh, like gardening plots out here. Um, so we'll be able to plant all three of those and hopefully that will count for uh, her aspiration. Oh, a holly. That's kind of fun. I love that. We're planting a holly, a snapdragon. I don't think I've seen this one yet either. Um, can we not plant it over here, maybe? I wonder why. Well, I have this holly that I can come plant, so I'll do that. I wonder why um, the snapdragon doesn't, or like the, this seems to be fine. That's another holly, isn't it? Oh, maybe I can't plant things that are out of season is maybe the issue. And then we have spinach, which I think is also something that we don't have yet. So we'll plant, and then once we plant these guys, we will go ahead and water them all. Did that not count towards, oh my God, I think it's not counting because it's not in a planter box. That's kind of annoying. Astrolage thinking level two, so that's good. Um, Let's, I guess, come over and fabricate another planter. No, you know what, actually, I'm gonna be super cautious about this. We're going to get another real planter box because it looks like it's just not counting me putting stuff in other forms of planters. Um, so I'm just gonna try to plant, I'm sorry, chicken, I didn't mean to put this down on top of you. I'm gonna try to plant in here and see if maybe that counts, which is kind of annoying, frankly, but it just seems to be the vibe. I'm just like, that's a lot of stuff that I just tried to plant and it didn't count. And I think that's irritating. I don't even think it's counting me watering them in the planter either, which is also really frustrating. Okay, that counted as one. Is this one planted? Oh, I don't think I can plant this one because she doesn't have physical access to it. Hold on. We never ended up carving a pumpkin last time during spooky day, which is totally fine. Um, but I will move this planter to have a little bit more access 
uh, to that. Okay, let's drag this over here and we'll plant that there. Okay, do these count? Oh my Lord. <laughs> yes, okay, that counted, that counted. Uh, Aster's up here playing. We're gonna have her play more Sim Shape. I feel bad for her, but uh, I feel bad for putting her in sort of toddler jail when it comes to playing Sim Shape, but she does need to, to keep getting her, although her thinking skill is getting up pretty fast, which is cool. Actually, you know what? No, never mind. Cecilia's not doing anything. Cecilia, can you come do, I think flashcards are a thing? Huh, I guess maybe, I thought I remembered them having a whole like flashcards thing, but I guess maybe they don't. I don't know why, uh, why are we mad? Is there just because there's a diaper on the floor? <laughs> Is that why? Um, yeah, well then I guess Aster's gonna sit on her bed probably and play more sim shape just because I, I thought there was a whole flashcards thing, but I think it's fine. Um, all right, Libby planted the stuff and she did water it. And I guess that only counted a little bit. That's kind of strange. I don't know why it's being so weird about the counting the watering or whatever, but it just is. I guess we'll come down and no, that doesn't need watering either. Okay, that's, that's fine. We'll have Libby come down and fertilize this with the Vitality Fertilizer or Cecilia. I think I said Libby, but I meant Cecilia. Oh, okay. Now Libby's reading something to her. See, that's kind of what I wanted. That's kind of what I wanted is to, to, for them to do something like that. Oh, it's upping her imagination skill. That's cute. Oh, you know what? I think it might not have counted me watering all of the plants because I hit water all instead of water each of them individually, which frankly I think is super annoying. <laughs> That's really annoying. I'll have to kind of play with that a little bit more and see if I can't get that to, uh, to be better. Um, but the other things we'll have to do, so we'll achieve level four gardening skill and evolve five different plants. Um, level six, graft onto three plants and fertilize, and then grow a cow plant, ooh, is one of the options, and then evolve 10 excellent plants. So that's kind of wild. Actually, before we end the episode, are there any plants that Libby could come down and evolve? She can harvest all of them, I think, which is fun. Um, but are any of them, oh, okay, it looks like a couple of the plants can be evolved. So we can come down and give them an evolution, get them to a better quality. We can even evolve this pear tree, which is interesting. Yeah, we're going through and evolving. The pear tree's increased to nice. That's all to harvest right now. These guys all just got planted, so I don't think that that's gonna be a problem to evolve them yet. <laughs> so that's chill. Um, and then, you know, just we haven't fabricated anything in a while. What is there to fabricate? So we have the hydroponic planter um, kitchen upgrade part. That's cool. I guess maybe let's do a kitchen upgrade part and see if we can't upgrade something in the kitchen. We have the oven. I think we've already upgraded something on it before. So maybe we can take a look and see uh, what's going on with that. Looks like Aster's imagination for now. Uh, but now Cecilia's taken over right, reading. That's really cute. I'm gonna leave them alone. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess with them. They're too cute. Okay. Now we just have to make sure the fabricator doesn't try to slaughter us again because it's done that every other time, and I'm a little worried about Cecilia's health or uh, Libby's health. Oh, Chucky's getting on in years. Oh no. Okay. Well, we have um the part which is fun. So I guess maybe what should we do? Maybe upgrade. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. It's fine. Cecilia, I think, is maybe feeding Aster. She is. Look at how good my Sims are at being a parent. I'm actually kind of shocked. Uh, well, because the chickens are getting on in years, um, we have these hatchable eggs, um, and I don't know how to do that. Okay, it looks like from what the internet was saying, I can drag the egg to the coop and the chickens will incubate it, okay? No, I don't think, wait. Oh, okay. Um, are they going to incubate them now? There's like three of them in there. So, um, time until hatching. Hatchable, no, that one's not hatchable. This one's ha not also not hatchable. Okay, so there was already eggs in the coop, but these are hatchable. So it looks like if I have ha hatchable eggs, okay, so there's a couple of days until those eggs hatch. Well, I mean, considering the chickens are getting on in years, I think that's probably a pretty good idea <laughs> for us to, to take care of them like that. Oh, maybe let's let the baby out of baby jail. Can we let out the baby out of baby jail? Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll put them in there and we'll have them uh, get to work on hatching those eggs so that we can have replacement chickens because time goes by fast apparently I mean oh my god wait okay so Li Cecilia and Libby's birthdays are this week oh god and and 
um, so is Aster's birthday. So that's actually kind of a big deal. We're definitely gonna need to keep working on Aster's skills then, um, just because, I don't know why we're taking Aster outside, um, but we're gonna need to keep working on Aster's skills then, just so that um, she is able to uh, uh, grow up and have like good toddler traits and stuff. So with the movement skill, I guess just maybe having her walk around is the best thing for us to do. Oh my God, I might spend the last few minutes of this episode having my toddler run in laps <laughs> just so that we can try to get her movement skill up a little bit. She's still in her pajamas because we never gave her a bath today, but I think she can probably wait until tomorrow for that. I think that'll be fine. Here, I think the very last thing we're going to do in this episode is I'm going to have Aster wander around a little bit um, just so that she can up her, 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 uh, her skill a little bit. Yeah, wander. Um, ooh, green initiatives. All the planting efforts for green initiatives and conversation have been completed. Residents, enjoy your greener, fresher neighborhood. You've earned it. Oh, is it like really pretty? Oh, there's like boxes and stuff outside, like planter boxes. Hold on, I'm taking like a brief tour of the neighborhood. Good, Aster leveled up, that's what I wanted. I'm taking a brief tour of the neighborhood. Now, part of the problem is um, it's winter, so everything's gonna look kind of crummy no matter what, but I don't see any more trash. I see better plants and stuff around. I think we have successfully managed to clean up this neighborhood. I thought that was a ghost for a second. Who is that? Quail, Allen, and Mortimer Goth are having a trash party by the dumpster. Cool. Anyway, um, I think that's going to be it. Oh my God, let's go home and look at our Sims. I think that's going to be it for today's episode of Saving Evergreen Harbor. Um, I think next time we're going to have to really get committed to upping Aster's skills and stuff before um, the time, like the time goes by and she ages up into a toddler. Because um, I think she's got what? We've got like one, two, three, four. Oh, it'll also be Winterfest soon. Maybe not next episode, but maybe like the episode after. So um, yeah, I think that's it though. We're going to spend some time. There's the flashcards. Why? I couldn't find a way to make them do the flashcards. What is that? What is that upping for her? It's upping thinking. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. So they might just spend a whole bunch of time working on Aster's skills next time to try to get her um, to ready for that and everything. So, but yeah, I think that'll be about it. Thank you everyone so much. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you guys uh, next time. Bye guys. If you liked this video and you want to see more, uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, that lets me know that you like these videos so I can work on making more series like these. Uh, also, if you like cozy games like Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley, I do stream every week, both over on Twitch and on this YouTube channel. Um, so feel free to check that out if that sounds like something that's interesting to you. Um, but yeah, I think that's about everything. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you all next week. Bye guys.